What's up guys? Today we are talking about the Swamp Buggy. And if you don't know what a Swamp Buggy is, that's okay. I did not exactly know what one was either when I first heard about it. When my dad moved down to Florida before I did, he was sending me pictures from this mud fest. And I like mud and off-roading as much as the next guy, but I did not quite know what this mud fest was about. But anyways, he had this great time, and he was telling me about these swamp buggies and how he wanted one. And a swamp buggy is basically a pontoon boat on an off-road chassis. Shortly after I moved down here, my dad says, hey, I found one of these things, and I want you to go look at it. I can't look at it. Would you be able to drive down there and take a peek at it for me? And I checked it all out, told dad about it, told him about all the mechanicals and everything, and time goes by, it's his. So, of course, my dad being my dad, and where I get my building intuition from, he couldn't just leave it alone. So, we ended up putting a 454 Chevy in it, which is out of an old kit car he had. It's been bored out to 468, been balanced, blue printed, it's got aluminum rods, pistons. It's, it's built up, it makes a lot of power. And he took that out of the car and put it into the buggy. But of course, if you're gonna tear everything out of it, you can't just leave it blue. You wanna make it match the truck that he's driving. And so he wanted it green. And while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and sand down all the welds and grind all those smooth, fill them in with Bondo, make everything look pretty, and paint the whole thing with a Camaro Synergy Green from GM. And of course I added a few little airbrush touches here and there, some kind of plasma effects that matched the dragon that he had on his Silverado at the time. Now we have a big block and a completely smooth and custom painted frame for the buggy and can't leave it at that. So we go ahead and start upgrading the audio system. We take out the old bucket seats and put black and green racing seats in on all the seating mounts. We build a custom subwoofer enclosure with amps and other speakers and cup holders across the back. At one point, we ended up building an entire second deck for this thing. Ridiculous. After the upper deck was on there, still couldn't leave it alone. That had to do one more thing to it. So he went out and got another two and a half ton axle off of a deuce and a half, but a front axle and made it four wheel steer with the help of an electronic ramp. So now we have a 600 horsepower. Four wheel steer, two story pontoon on wheels. After rocking it like that for a little while, we ended up deciding to take the second story off. It was a little bit of a pain going up and down and putting the railings up. And we put just a regular bimini on it. Of course, lime green to match the rest of the buggy. And that's about where it's at now. <laughs> 